Eric, welcome to Celtic, welcome to the Champions. How does it feel to be at Paradise? Uh, it feels very, very nice. I'm proud of being uh, one of the hoops. I know a little bit about uh, some of the terms, so hoops, and I have learned uh, Glasgovinium for ta, thank you. So, so far I'm very, very pleased. Well, you certainly seem to be fitting in well, but what did you know about Celtic prior to signing the deal? I have talked to some of the Danes that have been in the club. Uh, Morten Wieghorst uh, was my former coach under 21 on the national team. Morten Rasmussen, my former teammate in Mikulain, I talked to him a lot about uh, this, uh, this deal. So um, I've been collecting a lot of uh, news about Celtic, but obviously it's a, it's a huge club with a massive history. Uh, I'm looking forward for, for knowing lots about uh, this club in, in the future. Excellent. So. When you found out these things from the, the former players at Celtic, was that the kind of thing that inspired you to join Celtic or had you your own reasons for coming to Celtic? My reasons were that uh, first and foremost I wanted to play uh, to win, I wanted to, to, to achieve something and uh, Celtic is a club where we are trying to achieve something and that's uh, uh, I'm thinking of winning something in the fourth in a row now we have been winning the champion and we want to go to the Champions League, I want to be a part of it as well. Uh, other than that, I also think that uh, the next step for me was, was now and I wanted to, to try uh, playing under the pressure that uh, the Celtic fans can give, the, the, the love. I was at the hospital and one of the doctors said, have you ever been loved before? And I said, what do you mean about being loved? And he said to me, 40,000 people will love you if you give you everything, so I'll give my everything. What does that mean to you as a professional player to have that kind of connection with the support? It means a lot. Uh, I've tried it in my, my former club where we had, uh, where I had a very, very good relations with my uh, fans. So I wanted to give uh, something to them to try to give it like a dialogue instead of just a monologue. Uh, so that's something I'll try. But of course, 10,000 compared to 40,000 or 60,000, that's, that's a massive number. If you could just tell us a little bit about yourself, Eric, as a player and your playing style. Obviously, you're a, a product of the academy at Midland, but what kind of players do they make there? What, what does that make you as a player? Uh, defenders with the capital D. Uh, that's one of the things that I want to bring to the team. I want to, to defend well. Uh, I'm, it's, it's an honour for me to have a clean sheet. That's the defenders' goal. Like the strikers want to score goals, you, the defenders want to have a clean sheet. Uh, I've been playing in the left side for almost 85% of my game, so I can use both right and left foot. Uh, I want to take part in, in the build-up play, I want to develop that part of the game, but first and foremost I like to the British style of playing, the Scottish style of playing, where we have some tackles, uh, but still to, to improve the game by being still some, uh, some interesting football with a good passes and, and a lot of goals. I'm actually quite a good header, even though I'm not that high, so I think People will underestimate, underestimate me uh, in, the, in the sense of jumping, so I think I can, uh, can good, uh, make some goals as well for, for Celtic. Excellent, so are you looking forward to getting started at Celtic? You've obviously signed a, a four and a half year deal, it's a long time at the club, but are you looking forward to start and what do you hope to achieve in that time? Of course I want to, to play regularly, I want to be uh, one of the starters, uh, but first and foremost I just need to, to adapt to, to the new atmosphere here. The first day was very, very good. Um, my teammates are, are, are funny uh, and that's a good thing. There's a very, very nice atmosphere in the, in the changing room. So that's a good start for me. I'm a social guy. I want to, to have fun still by playing football. But I know that this is uh, a big step for me. Uh, I've never been under a club that is uh, so tradition. Uh, so uh, I'm looking forward to that. But of course, I wanted to play every game. I know the, the number of games is quite massive here in, in Scotland, so I will do my best to play as many games as I can. Do you feel as if you're ready for the challenge at Celtic? There was a lot of competition for places and obviously that demand for success and very high expectations from the word go. I think it's, uh, it's a main thing in, in professional football that we have to have uh, competition, uh, even though I want to play every game. I'm getting better every time I... I'm uh, training, so if there's three, four guys that can compete with me, that's fine for me. I'll just try to be the best and, and play. Fantastic. I'm sure the Celtic fans will be delighted to hear that. Um, did you have a chance to speak to Ronnie Dyla before coming to the club? Has he given you an idea of the way he's taking the club and what he wants from you? Yeah, we had a, a good conversation uh, prior to the signing. Uh, it was good for me to, to, to learn a little bit about uh, how Ronnie does things. Uh, he's a Scandinavian uh, coach. 
uh, have been here for, for since July 2014. So it means also something for me to, to, to feel that uh, you are being wanted by the manager as well, because that's also an important thing that the managers want to sign you. But of course, uh, all together, I think I have a very, very good impression of both the manager, but of course, all my, my teammates in the club is obviously uh, huge. Fantastic. Now, obviously, Celtic have a, a lot of games coming up, so there's perhaps a chance that we could see you in action sooner rather than later. But in the meantime, do you have a message for the Celtic supporters or anything you would like to say to the fans? I'll just say that uh, I'm looking forward to meet you all guys at the stadium and hopefully we will have uh, some wonderful years uh, together. Brilliant, Eric. Thank you very much for your thank time you. and once again, welcome to Celtic. Thank you so much.